Hi, welcome and welcome to class. Today we are focusing on stretching the legs and a little bit the hips. It's going to be a flowy class, super short, so you can combine it with other classes as a cool down, for example. And if you're ready for it, you can meet at the mat, standing on all, all fours here with me. Right, let's come to all fours. And we'll start by pushing the floor as usual, make sure, making sure you are standing nice and straight and stable. On your exhale, you curve your spine. And on the inhale, come to neutral, or you can slightly arch your back. Let's go five more in your own tempo. Make sure to slow down your breath. That's really what's going to help you with softening the muscles and opening up as we're stretching through. If you're not engaging your breath, if you're not paying attention to your breath, you can be doing a lot of cool positions, but really not get much out of it, as the breathing is what really expands the tissue and softens it. Softens it. <laughs> Let's do one more. And you can now tuck your toes under and we'll push up to a triangle pose, nice and slow. Think, of, think, as, ah, <laughs> think of it as if you were a cat. So you're just kind of really stretching through, just waking up your body. And lift up your left leg straight up behind you. Keep it there for about five, three breaths, excuse me, and then we'll flow a little bit. So you'll bring that leg to a lunge in between your arms. Stay here for a few seconds, and then lift up again, and kick it back behind you. Two more times, so we move nice and slow, but we're moving all the time. You see, just a little breath at the end, just to settle in and then move again so keep in mind you are that beautiful sleepy stretchy cat and stay here in that lunge ah drop your breath into your hip and both hands in between your legs you'll step the other leg up to the mat as well and sit in between your legs open up your hips nice and wide if you can heels to the floor and we'll have five breaths here so really drop your breath ah use your elbows to push those knees out toes are pointing out nice and straight spine tuck your chin lots of things to think about but mainly soft belly breath is dropping low hands to the floor you'll step the opposite leg behind you so that would be my left to a lunge right leg is in front of me now and then come back to that triangle as you kick your leg up behind you stay here for three breaths so we're just repeating what we did on the other side and now slowly come to a lunge moving all the time just a little little breath at the end just to soften up think that you are trying to move through the whole move through the whole movement <laughs> move through the positions so we're never stopping just really slowing down and last one take it back To the lunge again beautiful this time if you can you'll make your way down to a split 
so as far as you can go if you only get to here that's fine or if you can drop your hip then you'll do so and we'll stay here for five breaths so make sure to soften your hips and you can even lean forward if that's comfortable to you maybe we'll stay a little longer 10 breaths in total i think because the hips need a little bit more time to open here so where are you sending your breath think about sending your breath through through your throat through your heart through your tummy down your pelvis and then from your pelvic basin you send it into your hips and your legs that's how you want to visualize it or how you want to kind of feel it inside your body All right let's turn that um, back leg out and come to a second position just wiggle your hips here and we'll stretch from side to side six times just moving through so moving slow but moving all the time in your own tempo it's just your time to soften up soften your tissue soften your body breath is here not up here remember so don't be afraid to just let the tummy really bulge out and be soft. So we're spending a lot of time in the gym or just out and about sucking our belly in. Not necessarily sucking like, um, like we're trying to look pretty or anything, but it's just the way of how, how we live <laughs> very often. We move our consciousness and our or our attention I should say and our breath way too high up in our bodies so that it's all tense and weird down here so now you really want to make sure to drop it and be soft <laughs> just like pregnant belly all right last one now and we'll just roll over to the other side roll over your legs your hips and do the same thing so if you wiggled if you needed a little time to wiggle that's fine maybe you want to make circles with your foot that's fine too so we're always trying to really square off our hips that's super hard that's what we're working towards and if you want to lay down you'll lay down keep pushing that breath down and actually i find that it helps to sing you can try it <laughs> try to sing really deep or make some noise because then you can really measure or have a sense of where your breath actually is <laughs> Let's do two more breaths. And then open up the back leg again. Drop your hips behind you, your pelvis, your tailbone behind you. Ah, walk your hands in front of you. And begin making your way down to the floor. So you want to make sure that your toes are actually pointing up. You're not dropping your feet front. If you get what I'm saying, toes up and just open your hips here. And now, if you want, you can roll over, drop your feet, and get that stretch at the front of your hip. Not really the front of the hip, but a bit further up. Try to keep your back straight, tuck your chin, 
draw your navel to your spine. All right, let's push up and back again. Beautiful, let's bend that first leg again and roll out, roll over to a swan pose. And let's just make a wave down and wave up two more, wave down. And up, last one, down. And stay here. So stay on your elbows if you want to or if you have to or you can come all the way down if you're coming down you'll try to make your belly just um, push against that bent leg or just release your belly in between your foot and your thigh where you can use your leg to kind of feel your breath pushing towards it Three more breaths. And then same arm as the leg that is back is going to scoop under. You lay on to that side. Make sure you have room on your mat. Bring that knee to your chest. And then drag your knee across your chest and drop it on the other side so you have a little twist of the upper body here so now maybe you want to send your breath into your shoulder rather than into your belly it depends for some or it depends what you want to work on or where you feel most um, tension or stiffness if you are very tense at the front of your shoulder, then that could be a good idea. But if you feel it more in your lower back, then you want to push your back down onto your pelvis. One more breath here. And then bring that knee in again. Come back to your back. <laughs> and then roll back onto your mat. And push up. And we'll just switch the legs. Extend the opposite leg behind you. And again, wide stance, make way down. Roll up, make way down. Roll up and wave down to stay on your elbows or all the way down. Ah, breathe as deeply as you can. So if this is if this is easy for you, you can even just bring your cheek to the floor and really rest down. But I do suggest to place your arms around your head. Just feels like it gives a little bit more of an intense stretch rather than to bring it um, to bring your arms down. Kind of takes you the weight out. So that's only if you need more. We have five more breaths. Two more. And last one, same arm as the bent knee scoops under. Make sure you have room on your mat. And lay down. Bring that knee to the chest and then drag it across your chest to the other side. Open up and twist. And smile to the sun. <laughs> as the sun is smiling to you. Okay, so see also if you want to move your arm somewhere different 
want to find where it kind of gives you where it gives you a lot right so where you can feel that diagonal feel that tension also want to make sure that that arm is straight all right let's come back bring the knee to the chest bring both your knees to the chest now and just wiggle make circles maybe if you want to circles with the knees really gives you a little massage on the lower back make sure you make them both in both directions if you are making them and then you want to just swing back to come up two more times swing back and last one let's stay up here find the seated position let's close together so reach one arm up above the head and reach over exhale come up other side reach up and exhale both arms up exhale down two more times arms up and exhale last one inhale up and exhale come back down beautiful thank you for joining me today i hope you're having a wonderful summer so far <laughs> and i hope to see you back here again next monday thank you for watching and bless you Ciao.